Welcome back to the studio. Let's take a look at leather measuring tools. There's all different types available depending on what you're trying to do. So we're gonna take a look at what are they essentially used for. Uh, we're also gonna look at some of the most popular types that are out there. And then we're gonna share a few tips about when you're looking to purchase some leather measuring tools, which ones may be the most useful and what to look out for so that you have a successful um, experience in your shop. So with that, let's dive right in. When working with leather, measuring tools are really important to make cut lines, punch, pricking marks, and using essentially to even to lay out intricate patterns um, in our designs. And so there's a couple different things that we could use for that that are really effective to help make our measuring accurate so then our cutting is done well. And you know the phrase, measure twice, cut once, so let's check out a few things that'll help us do that measuring. And so we can have pretty much good, good finished products that are the right size all the time. First up is our leather thickness gauge. And so what this tool does is essentially it measures the thickness of the leather material. And all different leathers come in different thicknesses. And so when you're working on a project, Generally, we want leather that's a consistent thickness throughout. And so also the thickness of leather can impact the look and feel of our finished good. You know, maybe for a wallet, we want a thinner leather, and maybe for a coaster, you know, we want a thicker leather. And so having a gauge to determine what leather thickness you're working with can help you make sure you're using the right leather, and also that the leather that you're using throughout the project is gonna be consistent for you. And so here's one example of a leather thickness gauge. It's essentially a metal ruler that scrolls through and moves up and down. And the distance in between here is what it measures. So measuring leather itself um, is a, it can be its own endeavor. We can look into that um, in another segment. Here, we're just gonna show what we basically do we have our digital readout, it's at zero. We're gonna open it over our leather, come down, close it. It's gonna tell us we're about 3.29 millimeters, 3.3. And so we can convert that to ounces uh, for leather. There's a way to do that, and this will be the start. It's also important to know, this is a caliper, digital caliper. There are also analog calipers as well where essentially you can take your leather thickness and you just press down on, on the caliper and that'll push a pin here to tell you how thick this is. Often that will show millimeters as well. You can get some more expensive ones that will show you ounces and it'll essentially do the mathematical conversion of millimeters to ounces, which is a common leather measurement. Yes, ounces <laughs> refers to the thickness of leather. And so when you're using that type of a caliper, and you close it down on there like this, it'll show you the number in ounces, saving you the conversion process as well. And so essentially, the thickness gauge can come in this type of digital form or an analog caliper form. It may just give you millimeters, and it may give you uh, the measurement in ounces uh, for leather craft, which would be the easiest one since you're looking for the ounces since you're working with leather. Next up is our series of rulers. So there's all types of rulers out there. I'm sure you could be familiar with, you probably use them you know, most of your life. And for leather craft, there's a couple different types that we'll like. One is essentially just a regular ruler. And this could be used for measuring you know, inches. Um, you can get them obviously that do you know, millimeters, centimeters, depending on your basic frame of measurement you use locally. And it can just allow us to measure spacing for holes, marks, lines, cuts, everything like that. Uh, variations of the ruler are twofold. One, this is a straight one. Uh, you could also get one that is a 90 degree L in it. So you've got the ruler basically creates a, an angle, 90 degree angle. And it'll come up this way and this way. What that does is it gives you a very precise 90 degree turn that you could use for marking your material. So if you need very precise edges, uh, you may want to look into basically an L square, it's called, that has the metal both this way and then down this way. And then lastly is a straight edge. 
Uh, some straight edges are have ruler markings on them, and some are just straight pieces of metal that then can be used to draw your knife against when you're cutting to make sure that your knife has a very consistent path that's traveling to cut a straight line on your leather because it's a, it is essentially following the metal on your straight edge and so that it will stay straight. Uh, this serves two different purposes. It is both a ruler you know, and a straight edge because it has a pretty thick edge to the end. Let's see if we could check that out. And you can see it's got a pretty good edge to it to keep that knife on track. So this one doubles as a ruler and a straight edge, which I find it pretty useful as well as it has a safety mechanism. So when we're drawing our knife down this end, we can flip this up and that'll provide a channel where our fingers could sit. So if the knife were to jump the track, so to speak, it would run into this bar up here and not into you know, our finger. So I like this one a lot. And that is our leather crafting ruler. I think you know what this is. It's our tape measure. And so when you're working with really large pieces of material, uh, there's a couple options you could do. You could have a very long metal ruler that's mounted onto your desk or that you use. You could even have a ruler attached to your desk or you could use a tape measure. And this is gonna be generally longer lengths, 12 feet plus. Um, often common is 25 foot lengths. And so if you get a large hide and you're trying to make some relatively broad, wide cuts, just to you know cut it down to smaller pieces, you can use this and then you could mark it in locations that you wanna at least start your cut or end your cut and whatever you need to do from there. So if you're working with really large pieces of leather, this can help to measure different parts of it that you could then mark with and uh, go from there. So that's how a tape measure can be useful for crafting. And this one's a favorite of mine. It is a leather thickness sample set. Ooh, that's right. Um, it's actually really cool. It's basically a grouping of samples of leather of specific thickness that we could then use for reference um, later on. So like, for example, this is a Herman Oak six to seven ounce. You know, this is a Herman Oak seven to eight ounce. And so where this can come in handy is say you have a piece of leather and you're not sure how thick it is and you don't have a, you know, thickness caliper per se. And what you could just do is take that piece of leather. For example, we'll use this round one over here and we'll say, all right, around how thick is it? And you can just compare it to what's over here. So we're probably going to be around, just roughly speaking, around there. Looks like, or maybe, maybe up here. There we go. That looks pretty good. So then we'll just take a look at the back. All right, this is nine to 10 ounce. And then we could say, okay, cool. We know that this material is around the nine, nine to 10 ounce mark itself. So uh, yeah, it's a quick way to basically reference things. I also find it really helpful too, uh, because if you're looking to plan a project, you can then go through these samples and actually feel what a different weight may be than another. And that'll give you a more tactile sense into you know leather material selection for your project, because some are gonna benefit from thinner and some are gonna be benefit from thicker. So it kind of does double Double duty there in terms of a useful tool for a selection of materials, as well as a quick reference for measuring leather that you may have on hand, but you don't know its thickness. Here's another fun one, the measuring tape. It's essentially a long ruler that bends. So where our typical rulers are straight and you can't bend them, this will allow us to measure more rounded organic shapes. Now, what would that be? Uh, so if you're making clothes or, you know, leather armor or a kind of a leather bracelet or necklace or anything that you want to get a measuring, you know, that's more rounded, you know, like a wrist or an arm or something like that, this is going to work a lot better than this. Nope, not working. This one, you can't. Now you know generally how, you know, how long that is. And then you can cut, obviously, your, you know, if it's a bracelet, you can cut it at the right length and things like that. And so this tape measure, or this measuring tape, uh, will allow you to measure those curves much more easily. And then once you know that measurement, you could, of course, take a more straight ruler and use that for actually cutting out of your leather. This is kind of a step to help you get there. 
And lastly, we have our flexible ruler. Whoa, look at that go. It's a party and all the rulers are invited. All right, so this one is another just unique ruler. Uh, you'll use it maybe on occasion, and it's essentially a ruler that can be bent and curved while still maintaining uh, the proper length measurement. And so where we've got our straight ruler, we obviously cannot bend that, so it's not gonna help us too much. If we have our tape measure, this is cool, but if we're trying to lay out a pattern or a design uh, that we want to then maybe trace or cut around or mark, this is not gonna hold its shape very well. It's great for measuring rounded things, but not really for staying in place. So that's where we've got this flexible ruler because you can move it and it'll essentially keep the form that you put it in. So if you're doing like nice S curves or something else that you want to be more organic in shape and then be able to trace that out or mark your leather or something like that, this could be excellent. And if you look, what's pretty cool is as it moves, the internal still stays fixed in the right place. So even though this flexes, you know your measurements are gonna be accurate for the distance. So that's a pretty cool one. Um, again, it's gonna be for more unique use cases, but for those use cases, it's probably gonna be the best type of ruler given that it's, its properties and ability to kind of stay in its shape, even when they are rather unique or um, curved shapes. Tips for buying leather measuring devices. First tip is buy from a reputable company that has good reviews. Because believe it or not, some companies are gonna make things that aren't the right size. And when you're using your ruler to measure your leather, you wanna make sure it's the right size. And so I wish that wasn't a tip, but it is. So make sure you're buying from a reputable company and ideally one that has a lot of positive reviews so you know that other customers have purchased something and it's worked well for them. Um, so hopefully it will also work well for you. Another tip is, uh, you know, for these, maintenance isn't as big of a thing as with the bladed tools and other tools that we're using in the craft, but just make sure that, you know, every now and then you inspect them and make sure that there's nothing, you know, that's going to mess up your um, cutting or measuring. For example, if maybe you've cut into this by accident several times and there's like a groove in here, if you're drawing a cut line or if you're drawing your knife against it to actually make a cut and it may jump into that groove and now you've got a cut that isn't straight and you're gonna see that in your finished leather. So just periodically inspect your measuring tools, make sure that there are no big um, dents or cuts or anything that would affect its ability to function properly. But overall, there aren't too much to worry about in terms of you know, maintenance for these as much as other tools. And then lastly, um, try a few things out. Um, you'll likely find a couple that you like better than others that you go to more than the rest. And uh, like even for example, in leather thickness measuring, you may find that you just like the tactile feel of, you know, putting a piece of leather next to the samples to figure out the thickness versus getting a precise thickness and calculating it every time. Um, so again, it'll come from try out a few different ones Find what works well for you, and that'll be the best one in your shop because that'll be the one you'll use and rely on the most. And there you have it, leather measuring tools. If you have any questions, let us know. If you have experience with these or others, I uh, would love to hear it. And uh, until next time, keep crafting.